Hi, how's it going? Charles Botenstein. Today we're going to be going over the third part of the how-to series. The how-to series is essentially me giving my thoughts on failures, successes, me trying things and doing it, not doing it. Um, and essentially all, you know, this is uh, the newest amount of books that I've read. Everything else has essentially been uh, kind of bartered off. But today we're going to be talking about something that I guess a lot of people have been thinking about, which is marketing and social media like a celebrity. You could even be a celebrity sports athlete or someone famous or whatever. You know, and that's really what it boils down to. There's three types of people out in this world that you may recognize when you're walking through the airport. Number one is a celebrity. A celebrity is someone that is like, you know, they're beautiful, they're a model, they are in, uh, you know, magazines, they do television, some kind of entertainment, you know, reality show. So that's the celebrity crowd. You know, I don't really, I don't follow celebrities, I don't have a TV, I don't look at Us Weekly, I don't really care about celebrities at all. I could care less. Like, literally, I zero, probably even lower than zero percent. I'm just apathetic to them. But they're around and people love them because it's entertainment. So they are the easiest ways to actually build up a following is celebrities because they entertain and people like to be entertained. The second one are people that are known for something like athletes or like a Tony Robbins, someone that has actually done something. All right. So they're, they're known like a Gary Vaynerchuk or, or say someone in the, the fitness world, you know, that you may know because they put out a how to. So there's the people that educate which I just talked about, and then the people that entertain. So there's really two types of people out there. The education people are the ones that are not as popular, so you're not going to be like, those are more of like a niche. Those are the people that you follow because you're into yoga and they're into yoga, or they're a hockey player and you follow them. So that's more of the celebrity, but you know, the hockey players aren't really celebrities. So I'll just break down each one. So the how-to. So how do you build up a how-to channel? Number one is you have to produce quality content. You know, for myself is that I do these kind of videos and it feels good. I'm not doing it for money. I, there's, I'm not gonna make any money off of this, but I do it because it's a passion. It's kind of a side passion. I read a lot and I just wanna just throw out my ideas. I've been going on this for about 10 years. So someone like myself is that I'm never gonna be a Kardashian because I'm giving education out. I'm not giving out entertainment. I'm not being, I'm not pranking people. I'm not, you know, making fun of people. I'm not doing comedy. I'm not being controversial. I'm not talking about politics. You know, those are the ones on the entertainment scale. So on how to's how do you become popular on how to's number one is you like I said you have to put out quality content number two is that you have to be honest you can't put out things that you either don't do that you don't believe in because it's not going to come off authentically you're not no one's going to believe you people have a bs meter that's like unreal now because back in the day you can write out things but now you could see them you could see their facial expressions you could hear their voice their tonality are they are they lying what are they doing are they are they confident about what they're saying so you have to be honest you have to be authentic authentic means that like i just said you have to believe in it but that also has another part of it which is vulnerability vulnerability is something that people connect to because if you come out like this godlike creature this idol this something that you should look up to like I'm perfect and, and everything else which I'll talk about in the entertainment side in a second but if you come out and you're just this perfect person you know that's that's one of the things that not a criticism of Tony Robbins but he doesn't really bring out uh, currently things that he struggles with because he has to struggle with it like I understand like he's a ridiculous person human being like he's a cyborg but he has to still struggle because he's a human he's not perfect and those are one of the th that's one of the things that I would love to ask him if I ever met him I said like what are the things that you do struggle with because we know what he's really good at and we know he's he's amazing at health wealth love and happiness but the things that like where does he where does he wish he was better at? You know, things like that. So you have to be vulnerable. You have to be honest. You have to be truthful. That's where you connect with the audience. Also is, and I guess I'll just get into the entertainment part now, is that why, why are entertainers, you know, why are they criticized over way more than someone like myself or someone like Tony Robbins or someone like, 
I don't know, Jack Canfield or Ty Lopez or Gary Vaynerchuk or something like that. You know, you have, like I said, you have the educational, why are educational people, why are they not criticized as much as entertainers? Entertainers are criticized all the time. They're, they're told they're fat and ugly and stupid and they have a big nose and they're, they're out of shape and you know, all these things, their pro political views are stupid. They're, they're, you know, whatever. They're always made fun of. And the reason being is that they, they are there for entertainment. So people feel that because they're there for entertainment, they're, they're allowed to take jabs at them. They're allowed to take, you know, they're allowed to give them, you know, I guess give them crap and banter with them and things like that. But the biggest difference between entertainers that are real or entertainers that are liked and, peop and entertainers that are not is how authentic are their photos? How authentic are their videos? You know, you have all these Instagram supermodels like Abigail Rashford and, um, you know, all the all these girls that they they throw up these like stunning like look down my shirt in a bikini on a beach with my beautiful hair and that's all they throw up all they throw up that's all they 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 post but there's no authenticity because they don't wake up that way they're in a bad mood sometimes every photo that they show every snapchat every uh instagram is of them doing something like um in like insane so there's no real connection the less the connection with the celebrity, the less the connection with someone on social media, the more that that person feels that they're able to jab at them. So in other words, Kim Kardashian posts, posts a naked photo and people just, oh my God, this is disgusting, your kids and da da da. And because they have no real connection, they, the, the less of a connection that they feel with Kim, the more they're able to jab because they feel that she's either not being authentic or vulnerable or something like that. But the biggest thing as well is, the more the more truthful someone is the more that they connect with their audience regardless of how big their audience is you know uh, i would say the easiest way is tony robbins you know i regardless of how you feel with him you know the guy has whatever 2 million followers on facebook he has a few hundred thousand on instagram you know he gets paid you know tens of millions hundreds of millions of dollars a year whatever the amount is i have no idea um, but why does his audience defend him to a T? The reason being is that he, and which is a little contra contradictory to what I just said, but in person, the guy is the most vulnerable person. He will break down. You will see that he's teary eyed. You can see that he cares, that he, he wants other people to do well. He, you, you feel his emotions and that's really what, and, and I know People are looking at this like, dude, this is social media. This isn't like, how how can someone be emotional on social media? Is that they they throw out when they're bullied when they're younger. They throw out when they had zits when they're younger. They throw out that they had weight problems or that they still struggle with alcoholism or drug abuse or waking up late or with money or whatever. Is that they need to connect. There needs to be some kind of connection with the public. You know, I remember seeing this one post from this this uh, fitness model that you know she's got like I forgot what her name was but she's got like four or five million people following her on Instagram and she she wrote out this really long vulnerable post about who she was when she was younger and from there on I guarantee her followers the people that follow her on Instagram are like wow she's a real person I went through that as well she's talking about how she was bullied and overweight and she had glasses and pimples and she dressed like crap and she didn't have any money and now they look at her and she's like this perfect person. But the problem is, if you are a celebrity, if you are someone that is rising to that, that, that fame, is that don't use the fame, first of all, as your happiness or your, your outlet. Don't use that because you won't be happy. I can guarantee that. Um, but post when you're down, not when you're down, but post not just Photoshop. Don't post just photo, uh, professional photographer photos. Like when you look at these Instagram models, when you look at all these people, is that, that's what they're known as. But as they age, their identity is still of those perfect photos. You know, you have to post the photos when you're out and you're having fun and you may not look the best or you don't have the makeup or you don't have that, that hot bod outfit on. So people connect with people that are vulnerable, that are honest, that are authentic, that are truthful and, and start now. You know, the, the most liked posts, the most liked uh, you know, Facebook and Instagram posts are the ones where I'm the most vulnerable, where I'm like, you know what? It was the hardest thing or people told me I wasn't able to do it and, and now I'm doing it or, you know, the ones where I am like I am right now where I'm just speaking from the heart, 
those are the ones that connect and the celebrities that do that with their audience that make fun of themselves you know those are the ones that that have the deepest connections with their fans the ones that will the 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 ones that do that their fans will defend them to a t and the ones that don't they'll they'll turn on them because they're they're showing them as this like perfect person so i hope this helps a little bit there's it's not how to market as a celebrity it's 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 how to actually do it correctly how to how to be a human you have to be a human you know i can't tell you enough when i went through this transaction or this transaction when i went through this transition where i went from i only post when i'm in the most insane fun cool environments to i have I, I see this this thing that's really you know interesting to me and then i put amazing text to it so i have a i have an all right photo but i have amazing text i have a you know like i'm explaining the photo or how i'm feeling or what i'm doing that gets way more than a beautiful photo and no text all right yeah beautiful photos incredible blah 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 but when you're vulnerable people connect with that and they they though the photo is not as good they connect with how you're feeling what you're saying so always put out emotions always be authentic always and i'm not saying always but I would say one out of three or four posts, you have to throw out that you're a human and that you're not just throwing up those perfect, unbelievable situations. You know, I have, I have a friend of mine, he only posts when he's at a party or when he's with beautiful women or when he's at like a sporting event or a concert. I'm like, dude, that's not your entire life. I'm like, post other times. And he, I, maybe it came, maybe for me, it came from insecurity, you know? So, I hope this helps a little bit. It kind of you you kind of break it down to who you want to be. If you're an entertainer, you have to be vulnerable, honest, and show when you know you're you're having that like bad hair day, that bad outfit day, that you know that that zit or the behind the scenes or something like that. People really connect with that. And then if you're the how-to, the how-to is producing quality content for free and not being salesy. You have, as Gary Vaynerchuk says, you have to give, 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 give value, and then you ask. You don't ask, 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 give. All right? So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, as mentioned, this is our how-to series. And if you have any ideas on the next how-to, definitely leave in the comments below. My social media is below as well. Subscribe to the video channel, YouTube channel. Uh, Snapchat and Instagram are my favorite things. I also have a podcast and website, blah, blah, blah. We understand, Charles. Go to one of them. Have an awesome day. Give me ideas of what you want to know about a how-to. All right? Have an awesome day. Thanks for the, uh, the info on this one.